Welcome to Bears Next Hell. Today is Thursday, March 15th, and this is the market overview. Looking at uh, everything that we look at every single night and uh, looking for clues just like every single night. All right, well, the Dow up uh, almost 59 points, pushing back the upper Bollinger Band once again, closing right at it, not above it. A um, little bit of excessive separation, middle Bollinger Band below the uh, short-term moving averages. Very bullish looking at the moment, absolutely. 14-day RSI moving average hooking up. We, uh, we had the uptick yesterday, and we were wondering if it was going to get uh, follow-through to continue the hook, and it did. Um, CCI, yeah, ticking down. It's massively high. RSI still heading up. Histogram heading up. MACD heading up. Um, it is bullish. Absolutely. Um, you know, going in, going for a bar retest, and bouncing off of it, that is a bullish formation. It's just all there is to it. Um, is there any indication right now as to a turnaround? No, there's not. So if there is going to be one, it will be NDE driven, and that's all there is to it. Um, very strong volume today, yesterday, and the day before in the Dow. Positive volume. So um, breaking this uh, previous top, huge catalyst for people believing that uh, now it's off to uh, 14k and at the moment if they can uh, maintain this momentum maintain all this buying pressure you know who knows it's just uh, it's just an incredible move up that's all there is to it SPX more of the same yeah we had that uh, spinning top yesterday and uh, Another downtick on the 14-day uh, RSI moving average today with the strong move up. Closing above 1,400. Maybe that's a milestone that we we're gunning for. We just don't know. But uh, nonetheless, it is a, uh, it's an important level. Um, Stochastic still pointing up, still locked in the upright position. Hopefully, they'll turn around and uh, go enjoy the 14-day, but uh, we don't have any indication of that as of yet. Uh, down tick on the CCI, up tick on the MACD, the MACD histogram, and the RSI. Very bullish. It's just what it is. The NASDAQ. Yep. Doing exactly the same thing, ending with a hammer. Once again. It's not the first time. Probably won't be the last time. 14 new RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastic's locked in the upright position. Slight down tick in the CCI. Not much. Uptick in the RSI histogram, the MACD, and the MACD finishing its bullish cross. It is bullish. Uh, there is excessive, excessive separation and some wobble, but uh, we just don't have any reason to, uh, to move against it at the moment. And I'll go a little bit out of order. Apple. It hit the $600 mark today, and uh, for some reason my data just isn't showing that, but it did open at 600 and uh, and dropped, so this candle is not showing what it should be showing, but uh, essentially a giant spinning top, closing just below the upper Bollinger Band line, uh, convergence of the 14-day RSI moving average, which has the down tick, and the stochastics, which also ticked down down on the CCI, down on the RSI, MACD up, MACD histogram up, somewhat mixed. Um, was the $600 mark the level that it needed? Uh, we just don't know. Certainly that was way outside the upper Bollinger Band. Certainly this has been just an extreme rocket as everyone jumps on board. And I think it's going to be fascinating when it finally does hit its peak, wherever that is, and that turns around. I think it'll be uh, massively destructive to the market. GE better read on the Dow. Very interesting. Closing way outside the upper Bollinger Band. Uh, big green candle. 14 day RSI moving average. Still ticking up. Still all kinds of room to move. Stochastics pointing up. CCI massively high. RSI high. Uh, MACD ticking on up. MACD histogram ticking on up. I find this interesting because not only does this lead the Dow 
This is something of a defensive stock because it pays out steady dividends. It's an extremely stable company, one of the biggest of the blue chips. And for everyone to be buying this at this exact moment, in this last week, is just interesting to me because normally it isn't the big dividend stocks which, uh, which do well until there is, uh, you know, some foreboding of problems. So, just interesting to me. Just a little factoid. Oil. XOI. Look at that. Noted in the uh, daily running thread that oil was going down. Normally that means the market will be going down. And even though oil went down and was down at a good clip today at, uh, at its uh, peak, um, the market was up. Yes, we ended with a hammer and we did close above the uh, major price consensus level but we still have the um, middle Bollinger Band above the short term moving averages and the candle itself uh, we went in we did a penetration on the bar the bar bounced it back out which is what it's supposed to do and uh, 14 day RSI moving average ticking down stochastic ticking down CCI ticking down RSI ticking sideways MACD Taking down MACD histogram, taking sideways. Uh, this is what we wanted. We wanted. Uh, we noted at the uh, at the first penetration and uh, the bounce out that we wanted it to come back down and whittle away at the bar. It's starting to do that today. If we have more weakness, which it would appear that we should, uh, that will do damage to the bar. It should not be good for the markets. And there's just so much optimism that uh, even with oil the market is diverging away from it. The VIX, very interesting. The VIX is green today, up slightly, spinning top, no uptick on the short term moving averages, gotta keep a watch for that. Uh, but green on this and green in the markets, somebody is lying. Now. Typically, the VIX is correct, although the last couple of months, the VIX has been the one lying. Um, is that about to change? We just don't know yet. It would be way nicer if we had an uptick, but we don't. 14-day RSI moving average still ticking down, flying the ointment. Up on the CCI, the stochastics, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, sideways on the MACD histogram. Very mixed bag, very close to the lower Bollinger Band and you can see the excessive separation in the short term moving averages there is a bubble here and that doesn't mean that it's going to correct right now but there is a problem and it will fix itself at some point TNA up once again and uh, bullish engulfing after our inside day yesterday which is a problem and uh, it was noted as a problem so this is a bullish development, getting short of the uh, upper price consensus level, um, but closing above the major price consensus level, middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages that is bullish. Are we going to have a test of the previous peak? It's uh, very likely. Um, stochastic still pointing up, CCI up, RSI up, histogram up. Uh, bullish cross has completed on the MACD. 14 day RSI moving average losing momentum but still ticking down. UUP inside day red candle uh, giant spinning top we did get a down tick though and that does uh, bode well for the markets um, that would give us a target just shy of uh, 2220 on uh, on UUP. 14 day RSI moving average still ticking up. Stochastics trying to turn around. CCI ticking down. RSI ticking sideways. MACD ticking down. MACD histogram. I'm sorry, MACD histogram ticking down. MACD ticking up. Mixed bag, but we have a slight down tick. Um, it should be noted also that the euro got all the way down to 1.300 and bounced from it and that uh, resulted in today's action 
So the question will be that on the next test of 1.300, will the euro hold? I personally think that that is a very significant level. And I hope that it breaks soon. Maybe it'll take a few days. But uh, regardless, that is what it is. And to take a closer look at the euro. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Big fat body, inverse hammer, possible reversal, uptick. Uptick gives us a target of 131 and uh, yeah there is uh, there is a bubble here there is excessive separation so we sh could have some more strength on the euro as a matter of fact I would uh, think that it will it needs to fix this bubble and then hopefully go down and take out its floor which is significant you can see the multiple touches that line up just perfect and uh, if we can take that out then it's a good drop to the previous floor. That's what I'm hoping for. Fortune Day RSI moving average ticking down, agreeing with that assessment. Stochastics trying to turn around, they're very low. Up on the CCI, down on the RSI, slightly down on the MACD, up on the MACD histogram, mixed bag, and so a little bit of flutter here as it resolves the uptick and then goes to uh, resolve its floor would be perfection. GLD, the second VIX. Ah, big spinning top, fat body spinning top. We do not have a downtick. We do have uh, excessive separation here. Going back up for a retest of the 200 day moving average would be completely natural and in fact needed. Doesn't mean that it has to be tomorrow, but uh, it gives us a target just above the 200 day uh, just above 164. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastics down, CCI up, RSI up, histogram sideways, MACD down. SLV. Just like gold, spinning top. This one is an inside day, not a uh, good sign for silver. Uh, no uptick. We do have a little bit of excessive separation. Hopefully it won't diverge into a uh, double flatline. It is possible at this moment, but um, we're going to have to wait and see. Down on the 14 day RSI, down on the stochastics, up on the CCI, up on the, up on the CCI, up on the RSI, down on the MACD, down on the MACD histogram, mixed bag. Um, just need more information on that one. Um, XLF, the financials. Man, these are on a tear again, just like uh, just like Apple, leading the market, and closing way above the upper Bollinger Band. Not a good sign. Um, should close sideways or down. Get back inside of it tomorrow, or at least attempt. Um, Stochastics so massively high. CCI, whew, super high. 14-day RSI moving average has turned around. It's pointing up. Up on the RSI. Up on the MACD. Up on the MACD histogram. Uh, not a bad looking chart, really. And I do believe that it will take an NDE to put an end to this. And I think that that is about it for tonight. Still just a waiting game, still waiting for something to happen and uh, restore some volatility to the markets. Um, and that's just about all there is to it. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chat and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.